to uh Yo, 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 yo! Okay, before I do anything today, this place is a horrible mess and I'm gonna clean it up right now. Clean. Very briefly before I head out, I wanna share with you guys, favorite. First is these. CMFT Air Force One mids, Flyknit Air Maxes, by default the EZ350s because if I don't include them, someone's gonna be like, these weird material Nike Roshi runs, these Bape Asics that I actually got while I was in Tokyo, these Tiger Camo Converse, undefeated Air Force One high tops, Nike Chuckas, Harache IDs, if you can't tell, I have a thing for black and gray and white when it comes to shoes, filling pieces, another pair of Flyknit Air Maxes, and lastly, my Jordan 1s. These have been through a lot, if you can't tell, but my favorite sneaker, just because of the colors. So today's gonna be a pretty tame day in comparison to the last few days. I have my last contracted shoot for the studio that I shoot photos for uh, today in downtown LA. So I'm gonna go there. I'm also taking the cassette off my bike. Free coaster's coming back. But specifically, I need to talk to you guys about what happened last night in Skid Row. If you saw No Jumper's last vlog, he mentioned it. I'm gonna talk about it in full detail when I get to LA. I know a lot of people are gonna be like, wait, didn't you completely quit your other job to do YouTube? Which is true, I didn't quit, but I'm still kind of on contract until the end of January. Every time it is a good feeling to come outside and see that a bike has not been stolen yet. <laughs> Hey, I'm, uh, I'm, I believe I'm outside. I don't really see any. Working. Oh, wait, 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 with the camera on you. No, no, dude. Remember Ralph, though? What's up, dog? Hey, What's up, dog? Hey. Hey. The homie. I'm the one behind the camera. The OGs are going to comment like, I remember <laughs> that guy. That Asian yeah, fool. That was the beginning. Yeah. Those were the early days of the vlog. Right? When you were last in a vlog, I probably had like 20,000 or 25,000. Yeah. Something like that. Like, She's going to start training at four. So if we don't get her It now. starts raining and then it clears up halfway through. And it starts raining again. It starts raining again. This is the Shoot went amazing. I'll put in some of the best shots right here. change my back reel talk about what happened last night yeah shoot went awesome shout out to 10th planet fitness i gotta go to the awesome shit store now switch out my free coaster or switch back to the free coaster switch the cassette out the cassette was cool while it lasted but i'm just over it uh so i'm going back to the free coaster also when i get there i'm gonna tell you guys the story of what happened last night along with show the footage i know adam 22 talked about it a bit in his vlog but uh i'm gonna tell you guys exactly how it went down along with showing you clip in just a second So I got my free coaster back. I'm headed to OSS to put it on. Some of you may ask, why did you even put a cassette on if you're only gonna run it for five days? To be honest, I really wanted to run the cassette, but it's just, like I'm already not that great of a bike rider. I'm like very amateur. Like my skills are not amazing. And with a cassette, they're simply that much worse. <laughs> I realized that when I put it on, I was like, whoa, I'm actually not as good. <laughs> I'm already not that great, but I'm even less good when I have a cassette on. So in order to retain my already small vocabulary of tricks, putting the free coaster back on. What am I going to do with the cassette? I don't even know yet. I got to get it on or I got to get the free coaster on. Phil was talking about he wants to run a cassette. Maybe, maybe donate it to him. I don't know. Let him use it. Whatever. Almost at the OSS store. I'm going to swap this out. Then tell the story of how I was attacked last night in Skid Row directly behind me. Let's get into it. I'm out, G. Yeah. What up, baby? What's good? Yeah, going back to the free ghost cassette life. Not for me. What's me Rick you're looking at? Viceland. Hey. Getting educated out here. I like it. I 
know why, but anytime you deflate a BMX inner tube, it smells like fish. Why that was so difficult? You pull out me these tools. Hey. Mr. Nate. Stranger gang. Stranger danger. Hi. Oh shit. <laughs> we locked. It's a countdown. God damn. <laughs> oh my god. That is intimidating. Made it. Which way are you headed? Peace out, Nate. <laughs> All right. So I'm back on a free coaster. I wanted to ride that legend there, but I realized that Nate is leaving. I'm gonna get a little closer to Skid Row. I'm not gonna get that close, at least not nearly as close as I got last night. Let me set this down right here. Hey, what's up? So from right here, you can see it was there, right there right there on the other side of the street now before i get into this just know that i believe it is really stupid to go through skid row a at night b with a bunch of expensive equipment and c filming yourself because that's pretty much how i got caught up basically i was pedaling down skid row and i was vlogging myself the fire truck had just passed i want to take the full clip right here yo it's cracking it must be an actual fire it kind of smells like a fire too I don't know. I'm heading home though. <laughs> that was dope. Today was crazy. Shout out to those people on the rooftop for not arresting us. Because, uh... It is crazy how you get more trusting of an area when you go through it so much. But, like, I pedaled through Skid Row so many times. Never had a problem like that until last night. Even though I was filming myself, the dude's across the street. He's on that side of the street. And I'm pretty much coming straight down the middle of the street vlogging myself. Whenever I'm going down Skid Row, I'm always fully situational awareness is at a, a complete high. I'm looking around, so in between my talking, as you can see, you can see me looking around. And that's when I noticed the guy staring dead at me. He had like a, a zip up hoodie and he had his like head tucked underneath it. So I was immediately like, okay, this guy's sketchy. But he was staring dead at me. So as I get closer, I'm looking at him in the corner of my eye and man, he ducks his head down and he starts running at me full sprint. Yo, 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 yo. Yo, all my ye Holy shit. What the f y'all that was crazy. <laughs> Yo! All my years in Skid Row, no one's ever actually tried to rob me, but it just happened. Yo. <sighs> that was fucking crazy. So I immediately put my head down, put the camera down, and start pedaling. I start cranking my ass off. He missed me by a fraction of an inch. I could tell he was going to tackle me straight off my bike. Anyways, I'm pedaling. I think it's just this one guy until I hit the next corner, which is San Pedro, which is not even, it's like not even a full block. It's like half a block down. And then I notice there's two guys. So I'm like, oh shit, I was about to get completely messed up. They're about to get me on the ground. They're about to take everything. Oh shit, oh, let me catch my breath. Yo, insane. So happy I saw that. I wasn't totally focused on vlogging. But yeah, homie put his hood over his head. He, he came at me full speed, bro. He just put his head down. He was, he was coming straight for the camera. I think he was gonna try and get me off my bike. Just get everything. Yo, that was crazy. That was fucking crazy. Dude, if that's not, if, if that's not evidence this kid rose a crazy place, I don't know what it is, man. Dude, I do it. I'm a. Wow, that's. <laughs> hey, man, that's when I just kept going. I just did not stop. I kept pedaling and I made it to my car and I got out of there. Take a note for me do not go through Skid Row at night. Do not go through Skid Row with valuables. Do not show your valuables while you're in Skid Row. Honestly, 
some people are going to say that this deserved to happen to me. I don't think anyone deserves to get jumped. But when you're making yourself that big of a target, anything's bound to happen, especially there. Like when you go two blocks that way, it's a whole nother world. Like it's just a crazy place. So yeah, that's what happened. A lot of people were wondering why I kept the footage out of yesterday's video. I'll be honest, it's because today I knew I was gonna have a work shoot and I wanted to save the best part of yesterday for today because a bunch of crazy stuff happened yesterday. If you didn't see yesterday's video, go watch it. But yeah, that's what happened. I still have my stuff. I didn't get jumped, thankfully. And the guy missed me by a fraction of an inch. I wish I was filming outwards or I had my GoPro so you could see how close. He barely missed me. I'm talking barely. Whew. Yeah, so that's what happened. And for those who inevitably ask, would I have stopped and fought the guy or guys? And the answer is hell no. Not in Skid Row, like everybody knows everybody there. So no doubt, whoever that guy or those guys were who tried to get me, there's probably even more people with them just watching, just like witnessing the situation. Like, oh, I wonder if they're gonna get him this time. You know, who knows? Maybe I wasn't the last guy. Maybe they were successful in robbing somebody else that night. I don't know. Point is, you gotta watch your back no matter where you're at. I mean, especially in Skid Row. It's crazy to think that I'm gonna be moving out here and that's kind of gonna be a reality of what I have to deal with. I really just gotta be watching my back. All right. Yes, sir, you too. But yeah, man, that was crazy. That was crazy. That's what happened. That's how it went down. All right, Q&A time. Okay, actually, no Q&A today, but I had this really awesome idea that I think a lot of you guys are gonna be into. If you live in LA, California, LA, not San Diego, not Riverside, not some weird outskirt of LA, if you live in LA, and you have a cool talent, maybe you're a boxer, maybe you like are super into drift cars, or maybe, I don't know, whatever, it doesn't matter if you're male or female. If you have a cool talent, email me at this address, give me a description of what you do, and your Instagram, or whatever I can go to to check out what you do, and maybe you'll be in the vlog. I wanna do like more stuff like what I did today with that young girl who does jujitsu. I wanna like, I wanna like showcase people's talent on the vlog in a really cool way, you know, like document and make it look tight. So if you are into this idea and you have a cool talent, email me there and maybe we will work. But that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. It was crazy, I almost died, but not really, but kinda. Yeah, shout out to the Hicks fam. Love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace. Testing us, because uh, yo, 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 yo.